Haiti's president, Jovenel Moise, has been killed and his wife injured in an attack on their home in the nation's capital, Port-au-Prince. Interim PM Claude Joseph said unidentified gunmen stormed the property at about one local time. He has called for calm and declared a state of emergency nationwide. Moe had led Haiti, one of the poorest nations in the world, since 2017, but had faced widespread protests demanding his resignation. The nation's recent history has been plagued by coups, political instability, and widespread gang violence. The political editor of Southern African Times, Brian Lunga, is joining us on the news from London to take a look at this very strong issue. Hello, Brian. Hello, thank you for having me today. How Glad are you? to have you. I'm fine. How are you? Not too bad. Thank you. All right. What will be the impact of this assassination? Now, it still remains unclear what the impact is of the assassination. Um, one thing we do know at the moment is that there is an interim prime minister, and the interim prime minister has called for calm within the nation and across um, the, the globe, that everyone remains calm and everything is under control. Um, we're still yet to see the implications because he is an interim prime minister who um, was really ruling by a decree to a decree was ruling by dec decree to a decree and another prime minister was named before the death of the president so the, when the, before the president died he named another prime minister who was going to be sworn in in the next coming couple of days so there's a legal battle that will happen over the next few days to weeks i suspect that will um take us through roundabout as to who is the um, new leader of the, of the country at the moment. Yes, there have been protests and all of that before this killing. But what could be responsible for this very um, attack on his life? It still remains very unclear. The um, gunmen uh, came into his home at one o'clock in the morning and they, um, as you have said, fatally shot him. It still remains unclear what the motive of the armed gunmen were. Um, but one thing that is being said and is being acknowledged is that they were very highly trained gunmen, very highly skilled gunmen. The ambassador in New York has stated that some of them were even heard saying um, they are part of the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency, United States Drug Enforcement Agency. Whether that is true or, or not, we're still going through um, all of that as the story is developing. Um, but we still wait to see what the aims of, um, of the gunmen were, whether they're trying to further destabilize a nation that is already in a very sensitive state. Mm. We still remain to see. How concerned should the international community be? I think at the moment, um, the international community should come together and um, sort of help Haiti as much as possible. We've seen a humanitarian crisis in Haiti, and now we're seeing a political crisis. The United States of America has been involved in Haiti for a very long time now, since the late 90s. So I suspect that over the next few days, few weeks, they will um, pull together and help Haiti as much as, pol uh, as possible politically and in uh, any humanitarian form. Of course, France has also come out and they have um, sent their condolences. I suspect that also France will get together and try and help the nation as much as possible. But I think at the moment, it is important for everyone to stay very calm and grounded till we try and establish exactly what is going on, what are the aims of the gunmen, and what are the next few steps constitutionally in Haiti, seeing that they have not had a parliament since 20, uh, 2018. So calm is very important, while it's, um, they look through everything humanitarily, politically, and of course, constitutionally. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.